Manga Wido. I'm Risa Motoki, a housewife with a five-year-old. My husband passed away a long time ago, but my son has grown up to be independent and married. I had enough money for retirement, and right around the time I was thinking of wanting to see my grandchildren, I received a phone call from my son Yosuke out of the blue. Actually, I'm in a tight spot this month, so I was wondering if you could help me out with about 300,000 yen. Huh? What do you mean? You had some money saved up, didn't you? And now all of a sudden... I'm sorry. I can't tell you why right now, but I promise I'll pay you back. I thought it was suspicious, but maybe my son has a thing or two we can't talk about. I trusted my son who had been diligent so far, and didn't question him any further. Okay, this time I'll lend you the money without asking you, but you have to pay me back. I trust you. Thanks. You're a big help. Oh, that's right. When are you going to come over to my place with Risa, as we talked about the other day? Well, I'm a little busy with work right now, so it won't be for a while. Okay, let me know when you decide again. Yeah, I'll let you know. My son got married three years ago, and now him and his wife are living together. However, I had not yet spoken much with his wife Risa-san. According to what she confided in me before the marriage, she was a former delinquent. She was a little rough around the edges, but when you talked to her, you could tell she was a solid person. But because they lived somewhere far away, I still hadn't a chance to get to know her well. I was wondering if we could deepen our acquaintance. About two months later, I received a phone call from my son. Um, I have a favor to ask you again. A favor? What is it? I just need you to help me one more time with money. What? I'd like to ask for 300,000 again. Is that too much to ask? That's 600,000 in total. That's a lot of money. I'd have to cut into my retirement fund for that. Please, I'll pay you back, I promise! But you still haven't paid me back for the other time. I'm sorry. I'm in a real pinch right now. You're the only one I can count on, Mom! What are you spending all that money on? Tell me that first. Actually, Risa spends all my money every month. All of it? Risa's on? Yeah. What does she spend it on? Well, brand name bags, clothes, expensive beauty salons, and buying more jewelry than she needs. She's a spendthrift, huh? But you're the one who should stop her, right? No. She won't listen to me. When we got married, I said I'd leave the household finances to her, and if I complain, she gets really rough with me. I see. I thought Risa-san was a good girl even though she had a bit of a bad mouth. I didn't realize she had that kind of personality. Yeah. I didn't think it would go this far either. I understand your situation, and I will help you, but in exchange, let me talk to Risa-san sometime. I... don't think that's a good idea. Why not? When she gets mad, she gets violent! I don't know what she'll do to you either! Violent? No matter how many times I try to convince him, he insisted on waiting on talking with her alone. Although I was puzzled, I transferred the promised 300,000 yen to my son's account. Then he didn't call for a while, and just when I thought the couple had been able to talk things over, my son called again. Hey mom, it's been a while. I'm sorry I've been busy, so I haven't been able to call you much. It's okay, work comes first. Anyway, how are things going with Risa-san? About that. When I complained, her spending habits sped up even more. I need you to help me out with 300,000 yen again. What? There was no end in sight. I'm sure the cause is Risa-san, but it's not like Yosuke doesn't have his own problems, too. For the time being, I just brushed it off and hung off the phone. If she won't listen to her husband at all, I have no choice but to tell her directly since I'm supporting him. My son once told me that she was a former delinquent who gets violent, but I'm still strong enough. And even though we have not had many chances to meet, I just couldn't believe that Risa-san was a bad person from the bottom of her heart. A few days later, I went to the city where my son and his wife lived and called the house at a time when my son was at work. Risa-san, I need to talk to you. I know it's sudden, but can I come over now? What? Now? It's a little messy, but... I don't mind, I just want to talk. Okay, I'll be waiting then. Risa-san's tone doesn't seem to indicate that she's wary of me. I was a little thrown off, but I went to Risa-san's place regardless. Excuse me? Please come in. I'm sorry I couldn't prepare anything because it was out of the blue. Of course, I'm sorry for the short notice. So, Risa-san, I came here today because I have something I wanted to tell you. Yes, what is it? I'm not going to support you anymore. I don't have any money to spend on your wasteful spending habits. Spending habits? You and your husband need to talk about your money and decide how you want to spend it. It is wrong for you to be the only one to buy whatever you want. 
Huh? What are you talking about? Um, something's wrong. So I explained all of my correspondence with Yosuke over the past few months, but... Did Yosuke say that? Is he wrong? I didn't do anything like that. I mean, lately Yosuke spends all the money on business-related things, so I've been working from home to pay the bills. What do you mean? The guy he's been with right now, he's some kind of CEO, and he said he's trying to get close with him so he can get a bigger job. He never said a word about that to me. I mean, I didn't know about the support either. He's been lying to us and spending money on something. I called my son's childhood friend and best friend Shosan to see if he knew what was going on. Then, Shosan said he had an idea from the beginning. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this to you. Huh? About what? Well, he's going to destroy himself if I don't do something. So I'll tell you everything. He won't listen to me anyway. Destroy himself? He's into cabaret clubs. What? And since his income isn't enough, he's been borrowing money from various places. Of course he came to me for help, so I gave him some advice. But he ignored it all. Is that so? I then apologized for my son's conduct and asked him to tell me the name of the club Yosuke went to before hanging up the phone. Is what he said. Huh? We're gonna have to punish him. Yeah. We immediately took action. Yosuke, you're drinking well again. Huh? <laughs> this is nothing at all. When I get serious, this is nothing. One more bottle of Dom Perignon! Wow, Yosuke-san, you're so cool. I knew a tax accountant who could do his job would be different. Of course! Oh, are you really all that? Let's have you buy me a house. Huh? A house? I'll think about it if you come with me to the after party. Wait, Mom? Hey, you! You lied to me saying it was for business! R Risa? This is not how it looks, right, Psyche-san? Motoki-kun, I think you have no choice but to apologize for this situation. What? Please have my back! Just come over here! Saying that, Risa-san grabs my son by the chest and pulls him out of the club. I'm so sorry I lied to you! You think an apology will fix this? I mean, this is cheating! No, I never made a move on her. I'm just here to get my next job! You mean the guy who was just in the club? Uh, that's right! His name is Psyche-san, and he's the managing director of a company that's about to go public! And if I become an advisor, I could more than double my salary! That doesn't mean you can spend your entire salary to go to a cabaret club! That's right. I mean, how are you guys making a living now? Oh, I'm doing some programming work at home for that. What? You can do that? Yes, I'm actually a computer geek despite being a former delinquent, and I'm known for writing pretty good code, so I can make enough money to live modestly. Oh, seriously? You have such a wonderful wife, but you almost made her look bad. Well, it's true. That's been very helpful. But I'll be able to pay my bills soon. Yosuke, stop going to cabaret clubs. Even if it's just for work, it's not normal. Yeah, that's right. Stop right now. Wait a minute. I need the money if I'm going to make it work with Psyche-san. Uh, excuse me for eavesdropping, but... Motoki-kun, isn't that too much? <laughs> I'm the one who always pays for your drinks at the club. I've never made you pay a penny, you know. The psyche son That's- Hey, what do you mean? If you want to save yourself, you better tell me everything! Y yes I got- I got the woman I'm having an affair with pregnant, and I need the money for child support! An affair? Pregnant? You're such a jerk. I almost had a stroke. But when I questioned Yosuke who had given up, he revealed his secrets one after another and showed me pictures of the woman who was having an affair with. There's a deep story behind this. I've known this woman for a long time, and she's a little unstable. Ugh, how pathetic. <clears throat> Maybe I spoiled you too much because your father died early, and I didn't want you to be lonely coming from a single mother. Risa-san, you deserve to marry someone better. Get rid of a man who lies to everyone around him like this. Yes. No! No questions asked. I'm disowning you as of today. <coughs> and so we walked away from the place, leaving the stupid man behind. After that, Risa-san and my son got divorced not long after. We are no longer family, but after that incident, we hit it off well together. You know, I was actually a bit of a rascal when I was younger, too. I was pretty strong. I knew it. I had a feeling you were like that. What? No way. I try to be careful. You can be quite fearsome on some moments. Oh, I see. Speaking of which, what did Yosuke do after that? 
I don't know, because I cut him off. But he keeps calling, doesn't he? Yeah, he calls every day, but I ignore it all. As I was saying that, my son called me right then. You should answer it. Yeah, okay. Mom! You finally picked up! What do you want? I'm having a meal with Risa's son. What? Risa's right there? Well, tell her I'm sorry for everything. From now on, I'll live an honest life, so please give me a chance to make things right. Did you hear that? What? I don't even want to talk to him anymore. That's what it is. See you later. Hey, wait! I guess he still needs to learn some more life lessons. That's right. After that, he called me several times and I had no choice but to answer. But apparently, my son did not tell the adulterer he was married and refused to recognize the adulterer's child, giving random reasons. After the incident at the cabaret club, the adulterer found out that my son was married and filed for forced recognition, received child support, and never saw my son again. Yosuke is apparently living on the bare minimum after being hit with double alimony and child support. He's still willing to pay, which is respectable. I hope that he'll somehow be reborn as a decent human being after he takes all the pain and suffering of his current life. Until then, I will quietly watch from afar.